and a good morning for your daily dose of F1 news on Saturday, the 26th of October. The Mexican Grand Prix practice session is in the can. Max Verstappen not really having the best. He didn't even go on FB2. Well, at least he didn't do any laps, simply because there very much was an engine issue with his car. Now, how Marco has come out and suggested there may well have to change. That has not been confirmed but there were more engine problems for Max Verstappen initially in FP1 and then in FP2 we had a massive accident for George Russell in FP2 and a massive accident for both for Alex Albon and Oli Behrman it was connected because connected did Alex Albon hit Oli Behrman um, in sector three of the Mexican Grand Prix. Also, drivers are calling for clearer racing rules in relation to the US Grand Prix penalties. Hello, Lando Norris and Max Verstappen. So, um, the practice two classification, it doesn't mean as much because it was a test session for the tyres, but the top ten being Carlos Sainz, Piastri, Sonoda, Leclerc, Norris, Magnussen, Hamilton, Bottas, Perez and Liam Lawson. As mentioned, Alex Albon did not go out because of the crash in FP1 and Max Verstappen had engine issues very much so. Um, so, Verstappen described the Red Bull as it being well, kind of played by w being weird and disturbing. And Mercedes, in relation to George Russell's crash, Mercedes confirmed that he was taken to the medical centre after his heavy crash in FP2. He was released is o and is OK, following what, let's be fair, was significant impact. Now, Christian Horner's weighed in on the Sergio Perez's terrible season. As you know, yesterday we, we reported that Sergio Perez had, to be fair, quite openly said, I'm having a terrible season. It's not particularly very good. And Christian Horner has weighed in on this. Um, he said, I think he summed it up perfectly. It's been a bad year for Checo. He started strongly and obviously he struggled for form since pretty much Imola onwards. If you remember, his last race, I think was round five, the Chinese Grand Prix, where he scored a podium. Um, Christian Horner said it has been sporadic. He carried on by saying we saw flashes of performance in Azerbaijan. Arguably, he could have won that race. And yeah, he may well have done. And he said, you know, almost a month ago. So we know what he's capable of. And we're hoping that we can give him the setup and the confidence in the car to extract that kind of performance he's very capable of. But you start to have to wonder at what point are Red Bull going to be going enough is enough. And also speaking of Paris, Christian Horner's called out armchair specialist with Paris's engineer under fire he said he's a really bright guy he's grown up in the team in relation to Sergio Paris's engineer he's out there giving the best for his driver for the team and I think it's very harsh for people to judge and criticize from the outside when they have about one percent of the facts what's he, what he's actually dealing with he carried on saying the great thing about opening up everything in Formula One is the access we now give. The downside, he said, is the amount of armchair specialists and experts that we get that it opens up to. He said, Hugh Bird, who is the engineer, is a very talented engineer and an important part of our team. And I think any criticism of him is unfair. So, Fernando Alonso news. Red Bull reveals talks with Fernando Alonso did happen early in 2024. Horner, Horner said, again, quite a lot about Horner today. Um, well, at that time, Sergio's contract hadn't been extended. So, as Fernando is a seasoned operator, he said, he always wanted to know all of his options. Between him and his manager or advisor, Flavio Briatore, they're always testing the market, and it just shows how hungry and competitive he is, still delivering at 43 years of age. Now, Brown urges stewards pressure behind Norris' penalty. Our last story here of the day, um, well, not the day of the morning. Brown said, unfortunately, it happened toward the end when talking about the United States Grand Prix penalty. So I do think the stewards probably felt some pressure because I think it was Mexico a year or two ago where you had a podium swap after the race. That's not ideal, but what is ideal is the right outcome. And it means that if a podium swap or a bit of delay I think that's the better approach. So thank you very much. We will speak to you soon. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more news for your morning. And McLaren, as we know, have lodged that protest again with the ruling as Norris's penalty at the United States Grand Prix. However, at the time of recording this, there hasn't been an update, but there may well be when you uh, wake up in the morning. We'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much.